good friend of mine was at dinner at Stanford with Gorbachev after the fall of the Soviet Empire. And Gorbachev was there with a group of faculty members. And one of them said to him, you know, it isn't that communism failed. It's the way you approached it. And if you had approached it correctly, it would have worked. And Gorbachev looked at him and said, you would have to be an American faculty member to believe that. One of the problems or, or things that come up is when I talk about, you know, socialism and, uh, and communism, and, you know, and point to Venezuela and South America and, and, the, and these countries there. Some people tell me, well, you know, those socialism would have worked there if the United States hadn't come in and, you know, done some try to, you know, regime change stuff there. So my question to you, Mr. Speaker, is what is like the best like counter argument to there, what did the United States do in South America and what is your perspective on that? That's a great question. Let me tell you a story. <clears throat> a good friend of mine was at dinner at Stanford with Gorbachev after the fall of the Soviet Empire. And Gorbachev was there with a group of faculty members. And one of them said to him, you know, it isn't that communism failed. It's the way you approached it. And if you had approached it correctly, it would have worked. And Gorbachev looked at him and said, you would have to be an American faculty member to believe that. <laughs> <clears throat> so I, I would start and say, take a country like Zimbabwe, which we had nothing to do with. Mugabe drove it into the ground, destroyed the quality of life, impoverished people. We weren't there, we weren't doing it. Um, I would also say that, that uh, as a general rule, look at South Korea and North Korea. I mean, if Americans are so bad, how come if you look at a map at night, you can do this, you can, you can go, you know, all of South Korea is lit up, unlike parts of California. <laughs> <laughs> and none of North Korea, except a very tiny area around Pyongyang, is lit up. Now, we didn't do anything to screw up North Korea. And in fact, we have been the ally of South Korea. So how come, if we're the bad guys, the Japanese, the South Koreans, the Germans, the British, I mean, the Canadians, I mean, lots of people doing okay. And they're doing okay, I mean, in the case of South Korea and North Korea, it is a straight contest between capitalism and government-controlled socialism, uh, and government-controlled socialism fails totally. I mean, that's be my advice. But the bigger thing, I think, is to say to them, look, is this really the best we can do? I mean, just look around at your neighborhoods, look around at what's going on in the state, look at the fires, uh, you know, look at the people living on the street. Don't we need some new approach to think about new ways of solving problems? And I wouldn't necessarily fight about ideology, I would fight about pragmatism. Shouldn't we just roll up our sleeves and be practical and fix these things? And, don't, and isn't it clear that the guys currently in charge can't do it? Because if they could do it, they would have. Mm. That's my advice, whatever it's worth. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>